Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the Drotectives fan art dice series. Today we're going to be making a set of dice based on the character Eugene Finch. Eugene's kind of a different case from some of the other characters that I've made dice based on because he's not really a player character. He's actually played by the game master, Julia, but he's there for all of season two through all of the episodes. So he's more of a main character than some of the other characters that are just there for an episode. I tried out some new tinsel that I got. I think it's technically like hair tinsel. You're supposed to be able to like put it in your hair, but I just looked up colorful tinsel because I wanted some for dice and that's what I ended up with. But I went for the gold. I thought that streaks of it kind of matched some of the, the bits on his, on his outfit well. I went for a very spacey vibe on these. Of course. It's space, you gotta have some little flex or something. So I went and added a bunch of gold glitter and some gold flakes to match the other little bits of stringy gold I have in there from the tinsel. I couldn't find the like correct muted teal color that I was looking for, so I mixed a few colors together. I went with colors in here that I thought matched his outfit and also had that spacey vibe, both because his outfit's quite spacey and because the second season, which he features in, takes place in kind of space. Uh, it takes place on a train that's kind of in space-ish. You, you find out more about it in the, in the series. It's a whole mystery thing. I decided to go for a dirty pour for this set. For those that don't know, a dirty pour is when you take all of your different colors and put them into the same cup and then pour that into the mold. It results in all sorts of cool like mixing of the colors and they swirl together really nice. For most dirty pours that I do, I usually put the colors next to each other so that you get a little bit of each color in the mold all at the same time. But this time around, I tried layering them on top of each other and I decided that I was going to layer them and then pour multiple dice at once so that different dice ended up with different colors. They'd still bleed into each other, but whatever color was on top of my cup would obviously end up in the mold first. So if I pour into, say, the D20 first, I'm gonna have that color that's on the top and it'll slowly transition into the next layer of color and so on and so on. So if I don't have all of the colors going into each die, I'm gonna end up with some dice that are mostly black, some that are mostly green, some that are mostly blue. And I thought that would be kind of interesting. It's something I haven't really tried before and I've been wanting to. And I thought it would be a fun set of dice to just try it on because I wanted to do something with all those colors, but I wanted them to feel spacey. And Dirty Pores, they just feel spacey in my opinion. So I'm gonna get the lids on these. We'll go pop them into the pressure pot to get all of those air bubbles out of there. And then we can come back in 24 hours and unmold them.
Yeah, you can see how I ended up with some dice being mostly black, mostly gray, some of them are a little bit more just blue, and I think that's really fun. They definitely still match each other, because you have those colors leading into each other. You have the black D20, but it still has some gray there at the end, and that gray starts to turn a little green, and then the next die has some of that green, and it leads into the blue, and that green and gray helps tie them together. But I think it's cool that they're different. It feels more like space. I went for just a gold ink on all of the dice. I thought that matched the gold that was in the dice really well, and it stood out enough they'd be readable. While we're inking, maybe I can give you a little bit of background on the character. We meet Eugene in season two, at the very beginning of the season. He has lost all of his memories, doesn't know who he is, doesn't know what's going on, and the party kind of falls in love with him right away and decides that he is their son now. So they're helping him navigate through the world, but also he's working as a character that the GM's playing to help guide the other characters through the world as well. More and more comes out about him, I won't spoil everything, but yeah, super into space, Super into cats. I debated putting something cat themed in here. I was debating trying to find like gold cat paw glitter, but I decided that that might be, I don't know, too many things all on the same set of dice. Probably not. I'm, I know people love space cats, but I don't know. I just wanted to go for a space theme, just a straight space theme instead of mixing in too many elements. But if I do more dice form in the future, maybe I'll try and get some cat paws in there as well. That might be kind of cute. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how these turned out, to be honest. I think that the difference in, in colors between the dice is really fun. I think that it's kind of cool that they still match, even though they're not all the same. So I might have to try this technique again and see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you want to check out Draw Detectives, I will leave a link to it in the description below. It's a really fun series, I would suggest checking it out. I would also like to thank all of my patrons who make stuff like this possible. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!